What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figyards Bleach Renji Aburai from of course the hit series Bleach Thousand Year Blood War and I gotta say the moment that I saw promo images of this figure I thought it looked extremely amazing. Now if it's anything like Ichigo I'm expecting it to be a really dope figure and we will see but first let's go ahead and dive right into that sexy packaging. For the sexy packaging, it's pretty much the same thing that you get with Ichigo. You got a whole lot of white going on, but instead of red, which I would think is Renji's like theme color, it's green. So it says Renji in green. We've got the Period logo at the bottom, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc. Then it says Tamashi Nation's Bandai. We got the window where we can see the figure. This dope image of him right here on the side. It says Bandai Nemco along the top right. Um, nothing much going on on the top. Dope image on the bottom on this side right here. We've got this really dope half image of him on this side we've got one that's kind of gradient looking that one's really dope also i love that smirk and then on the back you got some poses you can get the figure into as well as some of the accessories and a bunch of stuff at the bottom i can't read because i imported this now let's go ahead and bust him out of the package so we can see what it's all about now straight out of the package i will go ahead and say it i already like this one much more than ichigo as i was expecting to something about this figure right here is just this one's it i don't know what it is because from my little experience watching bleach i never really cared about the character of renji i thought he was cool but that was the extent of it i was more of a biakuya fan which is one that i'm really looking forward to but this figure man something about this just does everything that i wanted to do now granted it does have some of the same quote unquote issues that ichigo had uh they weren't really problems to me but to the majority of collectors that i saw they didn't really like them and of course i'll go over those things a little bit later in the review but for now let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy because it's an absolutely beautiful Beautiful figure. Now, I don't know how many people watching this video play Kingdom Hearts, but something about this figure is giving me Axel vibes from Kingdom Hearts. And man, I loved that character. So that might be why I like this figure. It's just very Organization 13 ish. Now, I'm sorry if you don't know what I'm talking about. Just feel free to look it up. But this thing, I really love this like hair that they have going for him. It's very crazy and it, it grew out quite a bit since the beginning of the series. Um, I don't know what it is, man. It's just like wavy, soft plastic hair with this very serious expression just it looks so dope man and i remember looking at it now renji always had these very crazy eyebrows um i don't know what that was about i think it was just a random design choice but looks dope i love the headband it looks very ragged and kind of tattered which is cool um everything about this man the robe looks very nice the articulation seems like it's incorporated very very well there's a ton of wrinkles and stuff going on in here not a whole lot of paint work but definitely enough uh you can tell where the plastic for the skin tone is molded and then where it's actually painted still doesn't look bad at all uh, nothing looks off it's just that where it is molded there's a bit more of a shine to it nothing much going on on the back here all of this is mostly a matte plastic uh, or a matte, not that plastic, matte paint, uh, matte finish. Some parts have a bit of a shine to them, but not a whole lot. I think they did well on these pants, despite people not liking the way the articulation was incorporated for the knees. This is good enough to me. I think this was the best way they could have done it uh, in order for it to not look extremely ugly. I said that in my Ichigo review, and I stand by it. Um, and then all the way down to the feet, just very, very well painted. So... I don't know i dig this a lot man this thing looks really freaking cool and i just realized at the top of his head um is that his hairline like did he change his hairstyle or something because it looks like that's his tattoo up there i don't know um not that i care it just it's interesting i didn't notice that until right now but yeah overall very very beautiful looking figure man i like this thing quite a bit but anyway let's go ahead and put him back so we can see how tall he stands now, when it comes to his height to the top of his head, he's right at about six and a half inches, which he feels like he's taller than Ichigo. 
I don't know if he is. Of course, we'll see once I get to the size comparison. But this one feels a little bit better in terms of height than Ichigo does. But once we get to the size comparison, we'll see how he looks stacked up with a ton of other figures. Articulation-wise, he actually looks up well enough but then you're going to get these gaps in here with the hair so you're not going to be able to get it actually i lied uh there's a bit of a hinge where you can kind of pull it down not all the way but um it's enough to where it kind of sits on his shoulder uh it almost looks like it's blowing a bit i think it works better let's see yeah, that's about as much as you're going to get out of that if you center the head when he's looking up. But it is cool that they put that hinge in there so where you can actually maneuver this around. So good job on Bandai's part. He does get really good tilt turn. All that head movement works very well. The arms go up and out. A very, oh man, that is awesome. Look at that. That is dope, man. Those sword swinging poses are not going to be a problem at all. When it comes to the butterfly joints, his arms come all the way in, so sword swinging poses will be fine. He does have a bicep swivel. It's a single jointed elbow, and that's about as much range as you're going to get. I wish it was a little bit more, but that's not too bad considering the fact that this is a very large kimono he's wearing, so I get it. He does also have a swivel built at the sleeve, so that's dope. Hands are on a a ball peg very very sturdy ball peg and can move around well enough at the diaphragm look at that that is really good man that is that's dope he leans back about that much forward about that much you can get a little more out of the waist and then the rockers all there he does also twist and turn and since the v stops right before the diaphragm cut he uh it doesn't look weird no matter how you pose him nothing is broken up he does turn at the waist very well and with the waist he leans forward about that much uh still doesn't lean back too much but it's not bad so i'll i can work with that when it comes to the legs kicks out all the way which i think that's fine he can do a full split which is dope he's not going to kick back they sculpted a butt so that's not going to happen uh thigh swivel works well enough uh and at the knees they bend about that much again that's perfectly fine with me i know some people might want more range but come on now you got to be realistic here that is fine uh no swivel up here at the top of the boot or the sandal, whatever. Uh, foot goes down about that much, up about that much. Decent ankle rocker, and then he does have a toe hinge. So articulation-wise, this is acceptable to me, and that's my fault for the people that saw that pop off. That was completely my fault for not fixing that. But uh, yeah, this is great, man. This thing moves very well. Now, when it comes to accessories, you don't get a whole lot, but just like Ichigo, they really do come through with the face plates on this guy. First off, he comes with a neutral expression and a pair of fist hands right out of the packaging. You get this really dope smirking face. You get this almost like worried, kind of nervous face, which I like. Then you get another nervous, scared face, which you can see he actually has sweat on him this time. I love when they include these extra expressions. Um, and then he does come with a yellow yelling expression also so very good on that he comes with a pair of slightly relaxed hands he comes with a pair of weapon gripping hands and then he comes with this one hand which i think is for when he's reaching to grab the sheath of his sword if i remember correctly so that's dope and then uh he comes with his sword which is when it's kind of holstered on the waist and you can take this off yeah there it is it didn't seem like it wanted to come off uh but yeah that's for when he unsheats the weapon so there you go and then he does come with what i believe is his bankai don't quote me on this i'm not entirely sure but i don't want to tell you guys anything wrong but i think this is like a form of his bankai like um if i remember correctly it gets bigger than this i think i remember it turns into like a snake or a dragon something like that but i know that the blade does extend more than this but this is dope man this is really really cool um i love that it's this 
it's not like a very fragile plastic but if you drop it too hard it does seem like it's going to break so be careful with it but the way it's sculpted and put together it doesn't seem like because this top half is heavier than this piece right here it will break around here i don't think that's going to happen unless you just drop it really really bad so if you have this guy on a top shelf make sure you do have a stand for him to hold him in place but um yeah decent amount of accessories Moving on to size comparisons, first off here he is standing next to the main figure that matters in the line, the SH Figure Arts Ichigo Kurosaki, and as you can see there's quite a bit of a size difference between them. Uh, it's not very significant, but it is very noticeable, which is strange. I don't know why I don't have enough memory of Bleach, but I felt like these two were around the same height. I could be wrong, you guys tell me in the comments. Moving on to some other SH Figure Arts, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Lloyd Forger from Spy Family. Go check that series out if you haven't already. We have him standing next to an SH Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness, Yuji Itadori, and of course the Almighty Prince Vegeta from SH Figure Arts. This is the re-released version if you guys can't tell. Next up here we have him standing next to a couple of Figmas. We have the Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness. Honored one, Satoru Gojo, who is at this point just going to be in every single one of my reviews, so be expecting that. We have him standing next to the Figma, Kimetsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer, Tanjiro Kamado, and of course the Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia, Deku. Last but not least, here we have him standing next to some random figures. We have a Metacom toy or Mafex Nightwing from Batman Hush, a Marvel Legends 2-pack Renew Your Vow Spider-Man, and of course a Jax Pacific Super Sonic. Now when it comes to my final thoughts for this figure, I don't really have a whole lot to say. It's a very dope figure, and that's literally the same thing I said about Ichigo. I am digging these things a whole lot, and if you're a fan of Bleach, I feel like you probably will think the same way if you get your hands on this. Now I do want to say, based on how I'm feeling right now, this is one of those lines that is going to continuously become more enjoyable the more characters you get. And I know that kind of applies for anything, but I feel like it's more so with Bleach because just imagine having the majority of the Soul Society and a couple of villains like Aizen um, and then some of the other characters whose names I can't even pronounce, but they have very cool character designs and they're already making my favorite character. I'm looking for Forward to getting my hands on Byakuya. After that, I really hope they give us Hitsugaya, and then from that point, I don't really care where they go. Uh, I think Rukia would be the obvious choice for them to make after Hitsugaya if they don't make her before, and then I hope they dive into characters like Uriyu and Chad. Um, I would love an Orohime. Uh, just all kinds of characters, man. Bleach has some very, very dope character designs, and so I I almost feel like there's nobody they can release and go wrong with this line like it's just characters by bleach are so loved because of how dope they are i don't know anything about their backstories or any of that but anyway that doesn't really matter um this is a dope figure man and if you got ichigo pick this guy up i don't think he's very expensive i want to say i paid about 50 bucks for it imported from amiami for the people wanting to know where i got it he is currently still in stock uh so yeah if you want to get him go get your hands on him but anyway that's my review hope that you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep all of my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye